Hello, darling Mary. Hello, hello. Welcome. Are you in London now? I am in London, yes. Oh, London. <laughs> yes, it's back. been lovely. It's been lovely. Lovely few days. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and um, Mary lives in South Africa, but is, is here, and we get, I get to see you in real life, which is very exciting. Yeah. Beautiful. So I'm going to take a minute to introduce you. And Mary, there's a name I don't even know if I know how to pronounce properly, so you might just have to. Oh, uh, it's okay. You, you can say Paul you know. Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome, Mary. Mary is Mary Brennan is the CEO and co-founder of Forest Digital, the African Wealth Fund, a platform developed to enable financial inclusion and social impact investment. Mary is a chartered accountant who has over her career worked in London and how do you pronounce it? Abeja. <laughs> it's not Port, Port Elizabeth, yes. Sorry. Port Elizabeth, formerly known as Port Elizabeth, and has a wide range of cross-sector experience. She was instrumental in building Fatera Sustainability Communications in London, and after returning from London in 2011, worked for several years as Chief Financial Officer for the Secondary Cooperative. How do you pronounce this word? La Pomilanga. <laughs> yeah, transport services, thank you. <laughs> Owned by the members of the minibus taxi industry in, in Nelson Mandela Bay. She has worked on the forest project since 2017. So when I, uh, when Mary started talking to me about, you know, this project, I was literally like, this has been, this is like part of this vision I was seeing. And for this sort of future possibilities around our financial system and I get these visions and they seem like I have no sense of how how these things are going to change and then I meet you well, I've known you for a little while and then you're doing this amazing work I'm like oh my god oh my god <laughs> it's landing anyways so thank you and welcome and thank you for all the heavy lifting you're doing behind the scenes with your beautiful thank work you. so let's if you wouldn't mind just uh casting back so um Mary has been journeying uh we've been journeying together in the living abundance mastermind um, actually, we first met on a course called Women in Power in the UK, and then she came into Living Abundance Mastermind, and now she's moved up into the Living Abundance Leaders, which is my next level program beyond that. So we've been journeying together for a little while now, but I was wondering if we could cast back and uh, remember where you were before we started working together, my darling. Where were you yeah. at? So I think um, if I if I cast back, it was definitely I was definitely more frantic on an inner level. It's been years and years of responsive and and as you say, heavy lifting. It's been we've worked we've outworked some of the <laughs> some of our challenges. So um, I think I was basically feeling quite a large level of mental fatigue and internal anxiety around the long journey, knowing very well that this is the right path. But with all the obstacles as they came up, it was just starting to doubt myself, you know, starting to feel a bit more fragmented, um, quite, quite, quite fragmented, in fact. So, yeah, that was before I, I came into the wealth, uh, into the 30 day challenge. Ah, you did the challenge. Oh, the 30 day challenge, yeah. And uh, yeah, and that was actually really great because through that process, I really got to have a full sense of. Of your process and it was it really really landed immediately it was like wow okay this is solid this is actually um could feel my inner my inner clock settle back into okay <laughs> this is a, a strong process that can actually help me get back to that absolute center because i understood that that was where the where the work was coming from yeah. yes yes and you you know you're 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 giving up a lot of energy would that be fair to say and you're up against some pretty intense kickback against your yeah. work too, right yeah so when i talk about heavy lifting like you've been dealing with some pretty intense heavy lifting yeah um and that takes a toll after a while especially when you're trying to push up or transform an old system that doesn't want to shift right that's it yes and so yes exactly that it's just been a lot of um a lot of, uh, you know, going back to the center, going back to the center, going back to the center all the time, because, you know, you inch, you make two leaps forward and then it's a step backwards and two leaps forward and a step backward. And knowing that to bring these kind of systems through in a meta tech kind of way, you know, the way that we orient these systems is, is fundamental to achieving financial inclusion at scale mm -hmm. and to enable 
um, ethical and sustainable investing back into uh, uh, what is largely a, a society in poverty, in extreme poverty. So, um, you know, whole, I think a big, a big part of this process with this work has helped me with a large part of me was clinging on too tight to fear to fear that this was going to get shoved over. Yeah. So a lot of the allowing is actually in, through this work has allowed me to step back into that really centered place of knowing, okay, and not being blown over or fearful of that because of the foundations we're building. You know, I, I, I know the strong the, the strength of what we're putting down. So it's been, uh, yeah. It has been a long journey. It has been a lot of, um, uh, in the, you know, different investors at different times sort of coming in with different agendas and, and a lot of allowing uh, people to show themselves and to, to allow the real gold to, to land as such so that when it, as it does lift, it's, it's incorruptible essentially. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, in an environment which is, um, is actually extremely fraught um, with um, economics that, creates and sustains poverty <laughs> so it's it's like really we are shifting mindset in a lot of ways to to actually enable the, the different models to lock in mm. it's yeah. amazing what you're doing so what would you say because obviously right you know some of us are out there you know actually trying to build uh, there's big on a big scale like this is a big scale and sometimes mm. it's like but what i also know is that big scale lives within us too it lives in our nervous system like the systems live within us as well as uh what we see outside in the world yeah and so i'm just for people listening whether you know some people doing things on what seems like a smaller scale but it's in a way wherever we are there we are what have you found is really important for you as the sort of you know leader i know it's not just you but the leader within this shift um, because I think this for this is the bit that I'm a big advocate for is how do we support you, Mary, right? As you're trying to go out and do this thing. And how do we kind of recoup and rebuild and get strength, right, to keep going? Especially if, you know, your purpose is to do some pretty big shifts. Yeah. So what have you found is really important for yourself as the I within what you're trying to do, like on the outside world, would you say, have you found? Um, I think that, um, I, in terms of my approach to all of this work is coming from a place of, um, wanting to, well, okay. So I think that the purposeful of this, when I settle down and know what is it that I can bring to this, you know, the, the, the practices that we've done here, the sort of daily practice of just getting back to that core meditation, breathing, just getting back to that center. Um, when the world's shouting a lot, you know, and you're standing in the center, the center of a big system and people don't understand the 360 of the system and people get, uh, you know, can get very noisy and it's getting back into that center, um, knowing, you know, deeply confer affirming what I'm doing and why I'm doing it allows me to to respond versus to react mm. and also that pr the, the practice of uh, that you know going into that still place and then asking myself what is the land action that I actually need to take today sometimes just cuts all the way through the noise and it can be attending to one of my children it can be attending to something domestic it can be something so simple but yet it's just allowing that deeper place of of, of me to um, to actually guard the longer, the, 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 you know, put those foundations in place and make sure that the, the core, that I am moving to the, to the next place as opposed to allowing the loudest shouter <laughs> to dictate what's happening. Because that's often, you know, what derails everything is, that, is actually when you're, t when you're tending to, to noise. Um, mm. Yeah. And well, I, I think yeah. you're rather than it's sort of responding rather than reacting and there's there's yes, a thing yes. and then you get you cut right through and get right to the yes. core of the goal yes. of what action actually is required which sometimes yes. is something in your personal life is not always about your work yes. right like yes. deep. Exactly. i think yes. this is it this is key because yes. all of that noise can be very yeah you said derailing it sort of throws you yes. knocks you all around and can create a lot of confusion and it's very stressful right yes. <laughs> <All the> stress. <laughs> so 
Amazing. So is there anything like, cause now that you're sitting, cause I know there are some people listening and interested in coming in and joining this work and diving in, like, what have you found as you've been sitting in it? Like, is there anything else you'd like to share about what it's like being in this space or what you've received from being in the space? Hmm. I've really, um, it's been, uh, it's been fantastic to be in this space. Uh, I feel like the, every time I feel unhinged and I do go into the vault and I go and I say, where am I at? And just take into one of the pieces. I, you know, it does actually anchor me in myself. I feel like there's a, there's huge integrity in the work uh, I find and um, really presencing into a deep present self. So it really is, it's, it's helping me in my core, at my core foundational level to, to really stay strong and, um, yeah, I think uh, in a huge way, um, not be so overwhelmed um, and and move out of heavy lifting mentality, in, you know, which is I know that every time this business has advanced, it's been from a very centered place. And mm. every time we've done the deep work, it's from a centered place. Mm. So it really does amplify that. Um, and it's been a really um, it's been a really hard year um, on a lot of uh, practical levels. But it doesn't feel hard. <laughs> it doesn't feel it feels fine it's uh it's not I feel like it's actually just part of the process uh, I don't feel I don't react to it I go okay that's where that is and it's sort of at times I, obviously I'm very human <laughs> but uh but uh I do have a strong sense of where of where we're going and um and you know the achievements <laughs> Wow. So it's, it's really great, yeah. Wow. And this work has helped me. It really has been a rock for me this year. And we are in the year where it's all kind of coming together. It's years and years of work across an ecosystem of, of partners um, and our core team. So, you know, me being centered in it um, and, and actually a big, a big um, shift for me as well is moving from heavy lifting into allowing. Mm and trusting the field and trusting that the right partners will show themselves and that, you know, as they do, as this ecosystem, because part of the um, taking this live involves us scaling pretty quickly. So, and then as people that, uh, you know, come into part of that, some of them have got different agendas, but majority, you know, that, that are working with us don't. But, you know, it's that process of allowing as opposed to being fearful. So coming in my previous experience um, uh, was sabotaged economically and uh, had lots of trauma around where in my country, the, the corruption is, is intense, <laughs> it's violent, um, um, lost people. And so it's that um, deep fears around persecution for success and, um, you know, saboteurs and uh, a whole lot of other real feelings around not good enough or and then also complicated emotions on my own side where you're in a sea of poverty yet you're going to create abundance and it's this you know going through these processes to really do the inner work to be comfortable with where we're going and what we're bringing through and that it's actually okay to be abundant it's actually okay to have wealth <laughs> it's not wrong even though the manner of uh, economy in my country has created a systemic um poverty that is is really not great but knowing that actually but it's, you, you know we can actually innovate and create different outcomes mm. so um and i and i'm always come up twice in my mind now i'm going to share um joanna macy is an biologist um uh, she's a thinker and inspirational and she uh, once said that you know you've got to live with active hope yes we're living in these crazy times but in the now, you know, you know, if you can take the best next step, that's active hope. You know, it's actually that's how we're all going to get through. It's by all of us just doing our little bit of in the present moment. What's the best we can do? That's how we innovate out of the crazy. We've got what we. we I, I really believe we have what it takes <laughs> to set up the next generation. Wow. And um, and all of our work is actually going to be. Um, we're actually giving it to the youth in the country at scale. So it's going to be the students across the country that get first access to innovating with the technology. And for me, that feels like lightning. It feels like, 
the youth haven't got the same baggage as the olders in terms of uh, reimagining how economics can work. Mm. I think that is going to be very exciting. Oh. <laughs> Amazing, my darling. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you from the depth of my heart and soul for all you're doing. And so beautiful because, yeah, you're, you're right in the thick of something massive. And, you know, like I said, some are on a smaller scale listening and some are right with you in, in the lived experience. But I love that act of hope, right? Just keep going, right? Mm -hmm. Like we, in a way we need hope, we need something. Yeah. And I, I see that too, through all my conflict and how do we do this? And there is, I always find this, there's a little spark, there's a seed, there's seeds, there are seeds. And, yeah. um, and I, I see, I'm, my guy just tells me I'm shown like all these innovators. And, and so it's like, you gotta keep kind of rising and doing the inner work to keep going, yeah. right? Yeah. So amazing, well done, so huge. Thank I you. so appreciate you sharing. Is there any other words of, of wisdom, anything else that you think would be useful to hear yeah. or know anyone listening to your share today? I see. I just wanted to say that um, I'd written a little note earlier because I actually had some time today. So I was, I was doing some work and I think that it's, it's really, this practice has helped me integrate other healing I've done over, over the last 20 years or so. It's been really integrative. It's been really wholesome. Um, yeah, I really, yeah, it's really been really good for me and I'm really grateful to be, have had access and to be part of this. Oh, amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks the so substance much. is absolutely solid for me and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. for joining us today. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Thank you. <laughs>